Welcome to FS19 Repo on the Ravenport map. Today we will be reboing a exotic sports car, a wheeled loader, and a pickup truck. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2019 Ram 1500. Today we will be using the Western Star Rollback along with the old Chevy C70 Ram truck. We have received a few new contracts here with some very big bangs. The first repo for today is from one of those new contracts. It's a $2.6 million Bugatti Chiron and it's on display at one of the local stores. Hopefully we can get it before it goes back into storage. This Ram 1500 is one very nice truck. I really do like the air ride suspension and all of the new technology included in the truck. It will be a pretty busy day here for us as we try to find three uh, different vehicles. We first do want to see if we could find this boo guy. That would be pretty awesome if we are able to and uh, if we uh, can get it fast enough. I've really been enjoying the repo series so far in FS19. So many different things we've been repoing. And many of you guys have also been uh, enjoying it so far. And if you do have any cool ideas for what we should repo next, please do let me know. A lot of you guys wanted me to repo this Bugatti. And luckily, a contract came uh, through the bank earlier today. So we really want to get it as soon as possible. We do want to be extremely careful here with this uh, exotic car. There aren't too many of them made and it's a very, very expensive. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day's going pretty good so far. And the store should be down here to the left hand side if we are able to find it We do gotta kind of park the truck somewhere else and then I kind of walk over and take a quick look Hopefully they don't really see it us and a seat over there. Yes red in color everything matches We gotta find a good spot to kind of uh, pull over at and I'm actually thinking we'll just do it right over here we do have to be pretty quick here, so we'll get uh, the bed rolled back there. And let's kind of run across the street and take a quick look. Now let's first just take a few pictures, so one here, and we just want to make sure uh, we are not uh, liable for any damage, and everything looks to be good on it. And let's check the VIN really quick. And that is the correct one that's off here on the inside. We just got a $2.6 million repo. I mean, that is pretty awesome. The bank will definitely be happy with us. We'll get it loaded up. Now, since this is so valuable, I think we'll probably just put it inside our a shop like we did with the Lamborghini. Perfect. We got it loaded up, all strapped down, and we are already heading back to the shop. We do want to be pretty fast. It looks like nobody came outside, which is also a big thing. It's a lot easier not having anyone kind of come out and kind of ask what's happening with their car. Luckily, we were able to get this vehicle before it went back into storage. Usually expensive cars like this are on displays and otherwise in a garage just kind of stored away. The next repo for today will be a bit tricky. It's a front end loader as well, and it's going to be hard, but I'm always up for the challenge, and that's also a new client as well. Heavy equipment is what that bank usually takes on loans. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all the continued support here on my daily videos. I really do enjoy the uploading every single day here to YouTube and you guys are the ones that are making it possible. Like I have touched upon, we will be putting this right inside. We do not want this left outside and it's going to be much more secure inside our shop. I think that's a good area to do it and I really do like 
the roll uh, back on this. It's a pretty interesting rollback, but it works and it's perfect for this and we'll hop on the inside. I really do like it a lot, especially for cases like this. Awesome, so we got this parked up. Let's go find this front loader. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Would you guys like me to do a FS17 repo? I think that would be pretty cool using those tow trucks back there. Possibly we might do a few. I am looking to move to a new map here for the repo series. We are currently on the Ravenport map, the in-game map, but I really do want to move to like a modded map, an American map more than likely. I am definitely going to be looking into maybe like a Chevy 4500, Ford F550, uh, kind of a rollback. I think this Western Star is a little bit too big for our heavy hitter on Jessica vehicles, but uh, we also can't really rely on the old Chevy Ram truck as well. So more than likely, I want to get a vehicle a little bit smaller than this for repos as well. And the front loader should be coming up here on the right hand side. And I see it. There it is. Wow, I thought it would be in hiding as well. Usually when owners know uh, their equipment is up for repo, they usually do not have it out front. But let's double check, make sure it's the correct bin. We do have the key for it. The banks always get the second key. And we'll check. And that's it. Nobody's around. Looks like the door is closed. Wow. going to be a pretty easy repo, but it's going to be a bit heavy. Definitely going to be testing. And that's kind of one reason why I like such a big truck here and it looks like we had a little bit of a problem being on a little bit of a slope so we actually have to readjust definitely we'll learn from this in the future not uh, try to park a little bit on yeah that little bit of a slope there parking on the grass caused that this will be a very heavy load looks like the trains going by uh, that's pretty nice Oh yeah, this is going to be pretty heavy. Just fits as well. And I really want to take a look at how this truck's going to do. And take a look at that, guys. It is just so, so heavy. But it should be able to work. Alright, we got it now loaded up. That was a bit tricky, I will have to say. It's going to be a slow ride back. Uh, the front of the truck went up in the air a few feet there for a few moments. I do like hook trucks, but sometimes, especially in a different positions as it's trying to kind of come back into transport position, it, it really puts a lot of stress on the suspension. I think we'll take the next turn. I will have to be as careful as I can. You guys can see it's even going over the uh, sides of this. Going to have to take a very slow turn. We definitely do not want this on the truck for a long time, so we'll definitely unload it when we get back. It is doing it though, which is awesome. If you do have any cool ideas here for the repo series, please let me know. And if you do have any cool map ideas, always uh, drop it down below. I really do enjoy responding to you guys, and you guys have been awesome supporters of the channel. Yeah, taking quite a lot of extra braking power to really get this truck slowed down. We do not actually have a trailer able to kind of handle this, so this was our only way to get it other than driving it on the side of the road, which is an option if we really wanted to. But let's see kind of what's going to happen now with this uh, sliding off. This will be a bit tricky on the truck. Looks like actually not that bad, really. Uh, just uh, doing a, a little bit better job, and there we go. Uh, you guys can see a little bit of a wheelie there. We'll get the loader turned on, and we'll put it inside here. Now a loader compared to this fence we have wouldn't really do anything, so we do want it to kind of tuck it along the side as much as we can. That looks to be good, and...
All right, we have the wheel loader parked over there. We'll get the gate closed and we'll get this door open now because we want to put this back and get the ram truck. It's a pickup truck and I don't think we really need this big thing. And the individual has actually been putting this in hiding. So hopefully we are able to find it. Like I have touched upon before, usually repos are hard to find because the owners know they are not making the payments. And this one is actually six months behind on payments. That's a pretty long distance to be behind. Let's see, can we hop here in the Chevy? I really do like the look here of the Chevy Ram truck. This is an older truck, but it still gets the job done for us. These older trucks I do like featuring here in videos, really showcasing uh, the old and the new is always a nice thing. Now we have been told that it is located at a property on this street here, so it's gonna just kind of drive down it. And if we do see it, if not, we will have to kind of get out and walk around and uh, kind of see if we find anything. And it should be coming up here on uh, the left hand side. And I see it over there, it's the GMC Crew Cab. So there it is, uh, let's get the ramps down and really get this truck ready to go to uh, get this loaded up. I really do like how the suspension lowers down, that's pretty awesome. We'll get it turned on and the license plate matched. We'll check the VIN and that matches. You always do want to check the VIN first and then kind of check it, but the plate matched and I thought it would. This looks to be a little bit on the modified side, but that's okay. And we'll get it loaded on. Perfect, so we got that, we'll get it. It looks like nobody's coming out, which is also good. Put the ramps back. And we are now heading back over to the shop. So one very successful day here for us with a repo company. Repoing the $2.6 million Bugatti, that front end wheel loader, and also this pickup truck. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and stay tuned for the next one.